Hey, what is going on guys? I'm going to show you how to transfer files like uh, photos, videos, music from your Google Pixel 1, 2, 3, or even the Excel versions to a computer. doesn't matter if it's a Windows computer or a MacBook or an Apple computer. It all works the same way. And I'll show you how to do it via the USB Type-C charging cable here. First thing is make sure you have your cable plugged into your USB port on your computer. Then go ahead and grab your Google Pixel here. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right now. And as soon as you plug it in, what you gotta do now is you gotta scroll down like this. And now what we have to do is go down to where it says Android system, charging this device via USB. So tap on that, then tap on it again. And now what we gotta do is tap on file transfer. So tap on file transfer right there. Now, oops, let me tap on file transfer again. Just like that, let me put my phone down. And now we go right to the computer. I'll go ahead and open up a file explorer here. Pop this open and let me go ahead and zoom in here. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna look for the name of my pixel here. That was a pixel three. So I see pixel three right there. So I'll tap on that and it says internal shared storage. Let me double tap on that. And now for all my photos and videos, if I go under uh, DCIM, I can double tap on that. Oops, double click on that, double click on camera. And here is all of my photos and my videos here. Okay, so if I wanted to select a few, I can go ahead and just drag it right to my desktop here or put it in a folder or whatnot. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll just drop it on to my desktop here. And you can see some of those photos and video copied onto my, my desktop here on my Windows computer. Same thing with music too. So if I, let me go back here. So I'm still under the, uh, let me go to Pixel 3 back here, double click on internal storage. And then if you have it under your music folder, then you can go ahead and drag and drop it or um, bring it directly to your computer. I have uh, music here under download here. It's just one right here. So I can simply just drag and drop this onto my desktop as well. And I, of course I could put it in a folder or whatnot. And uh, there you go. So right now I have those uh, one music and some uh, photos here. Actually, they're all photos here, but they're all on my Windows computer. And that's how you do it. Pretty simple. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.